Hello, you are welcome back. In this video tutorial, I just explain you how to create MDA form and the child forms. This we are doing in Visual Studio. So basically we are talking about creating MDA form with child forms along with menu for navigation. So that we are doing it in a Visual Studio using C Sharp language. Let us understand how to do this. So in order to do this, we require a Visual Studio. Therefore, go to Visual Studio, start Visual Studio. So presently, I'm using 2019. If you have previous editions, there's no problem. You can use the previous editions also. So it is a create new project. So after clicking the create new project, you need to create a C Sharp project. So if it's already template readily available, you can use from here. You can see that Windows form application C Sharp or else you can check it out here on the right side. So this is the Windows form application, C Sharp, Windows Desktop. So therefore you can choose this one, Windows form app. Next, so you have to give the project name. So now here is MDI uh, to project, okay. Right, so then when you, where you would like to save this project. So location, so you have to browse, and probably if you have D drive or E drive, go to D drive. So there you can have a, your name on folder in your name. And then you can have one more folder C sharp projects. So under this, you can create this particular folder or this project. Okay. Anyway, I'm choosing temp and the new projects. MDA2 project is the project name and solution name. So let the solution name be same as project name. So therefore we are select we check the checkbox here and the framework presently we are using 4.6 fine so this create a new project called as mdi2 project and here you can see there is a form here so now you can run the project to see like how it looks so you can see that there is only one form so this is the form one now we want to add mdi parent so we can make the existing form only MDA parent. So in order to make this as MDA parent, so you have to say is MDA container is equal to true. When you make is MDA container true, so this becomes MDA parent. Fine. So now there is a title here form one. So we'll change this MDA parent or whatever the project name. So let's call it as MDA parent project. Done. Then we can increase the size window state. Okay, we can make it as a full screen. So in order to make it as a full screen, we change the window state to maximized. Window state to maximized. Now if I run the project, you can see that it come in the full form. So we can also add MDA form. So in order to add the MDA form, you have to go to add form. And then you have to scroll down. Here you can see there is one called the MDA parent form and click add button. So here by default, it's a menu toolbar and the status bar. Now we need to delete them. So we don't require this. Therefore delete this existing menu bar toolbar. Even there is a tool tip here. Let's delete this. We don't want anything. After deleting all, we need to remove the code also. Therefore you need to go to the code window. You have to press F7 or you click on the view code. Sorry. So here is MDA parent and then click the code window. Right. So a lot of code is already written here. Now what you have to do is, so there is a namespace MDA2 project. Fine. Let it be there. So all this using statement should be there. You don't delete them. And uh, public partial class MDA parent one form private int child form M public MDA parent one initialize component. Okay, you need to return up to this. After that, you delete everything because we don't require because we removed all the components. So we don't require only that much is required. Right now, if you run your form one is running. So because we change that one, so this is not running. So in order to run the MDA parent, you have to go to program.cs file. So here you can see that uh, we are running the form one instead of far one, you want to run MDA parent one. So therefore let's change to MDI 
md parent 1 so this you have to remark it so to forward slash mdi to mdi capital so di capital md parent 1 okay now if i run this so the md form is running even this also you can make as a full screen to make full screen you have to go to windows state and then you have to increase the size so now it comes to full screen right next step is we need to add a menu to this <coughs> so now to add the menu you have to come to menu and toolbars here is a menu strip double click on menu strip a menu strip is added to the project now we have to add the more form so therefore we have to go to project add form so form 2.cs click ok then let's add one more form so form 3 dot so let's add one more form 4 so another three forms we added now to call these forms okay so for that we need a menu item so we already have a menu bar here in that menu bar we need to create the menu item so here is a form 1 so let it be form 1 and next one on the right side you create form 2 again right side you have type here option here so you can click here and then type form 3 now three forms in case you would like to change the point size of this so select the menu bar go to properties in a properties there is a point property and then browse here and then increase the point size now you can see that point size increased now we need to write the code to show the form 1 right so form 1 tool strip menu item underscore click here we need to write the code to show the form 1 sorry now form 2 right so form f2 that is equal to new form 2 so second form you want to show so therefore it is a new form 2 then before showing that so f2 dot mdi parent is equal to this this means the present form so present form is the mda parent form so this is the mda parent so this refers to the mda parent then f2 dot show so you want to show the form now let's run this project now click the form one so because we written in the form one actually right so it's showing now now let me change this to form two so now to change again the content of this so name of the form one to form two change it over there here and this one i want to make it as a form three this one i want to make it as a form four so click on this it will be get edited now we can change right now form three we need to write the same code again right so now we can new form 3 so you can change this also it's okay otherwise also it's okay okay let me change so f3 dot show so next one uh, form 4 so let me paste so all these 2 to 4 right now let us run this project now click form 2 you can see that there is a form 2 so this will always sit inside the mda parent form 3 so this is the form 3 form 4 and this is the form 4 right so once you open the form we can make it as a full screen so therefore you have to make it full screen so you can go to properties of this and then increase the sorry select window state to maximized select window state to maximized and this you can drag completely And then we can change the background color so to change the background color so we can go to back color there is a property called as a back color here so select the color we want so its color is changed now if i run this project form 2 now you can see that form 2 fill the complete screen now to close this form so now to close this form you record a button so let me take one button and we need to write the code for this so this text is close so therefore i select this and change the text to close when i click the button it should get closed so then double click on this so button one click when you click this this dot close i want to close the form so in every form so therefore you can do a button a close button when you click this the form will be closed so this is a form three and this is the form four so even you can maximize them and then you can have a button there also 
and we can close them whenever we don't want right so this way we can add mda form then you can have multiple forms then you can have a menu then we can navigate from one form to the other form via menu so i suggest to keep practice this if you are successful it's a great so repeatedly do more times and therefore you'll get a complete experience and if you'd like to say anything to us you please pass it across via comment box and also please subscribe to our channel therefore we can provide you more videos in turn you can learn more subscription is very free so therefore please subscribe to our channel thank you